All right, uh, this one's getting a lot of attention online. That new Detroit sign that is up on 94 for the NFL draft. People have mixed feelings, and I think that's putting it nicely. Uh, so let's first have Rod Maloney tell the story about the sign and take a look at it, and then we'll tell you what people are saying, including writing a song about it. Take a look. For the better part of a year now, we have had the draft clock here in downtown Detroit to remind us all when the big day is coming. But now as the clock winds down to zero, we're getting to that point where out of towners are coming to town and we need to give them an appropriate welcome. This sign on eastbound I-94 in southwest Detroit's the largest of a half dozen green and white city themed road signs they're installing along Detroit's entry points. The letters here are eight feet tall, the pedestals two more feet, letting the world know Motown is here and draft ready. The other five signs are a bit smaller and are going to stand on wooden poles. Eva Torres lives in southwest Detroit and worked with City Hall on the project. It's extremely emotional. This is the neighborhood in which I grew up. To her, the sign, along with the ongoing roadside cleanup, is the kind of beautification she's always hoped southwest Detroit would see. To be showcased in this form and fashion, um, I just, I, I, feel, I feel proud and happy. Um, it's just, it's so exciting. It really is. The city is spending roughly $400,000 with the Detroit based Fairmount Sign Company on these signs. And while unusual, it's certainly not the first time we've seen football alter Metro Detroit's permanent landscape. Back in 2006, Wayne County rebuilt the bridge over I 94 at Telegraph, incorporating footballs in the superstructure as a welcome to Super Bowl fans. Detroit Deputy Chief Operating Officer Jessica Parker said the Michigan Department of Transportation transportation and activists like Eva Torres held significant sway in getting these signs installed. We partnered with the neighbors. We wanted to make sure that they had input. We wanted to um, include them with this process so that it's not just the city doing it, but it's the community and them having input as far as the, the look and the like of the letters and the placement of it as well. You're going to see the crews working on the actual signs for the next day or two. But then come Thursday, Detroit Edison is going to be coming by and putting lights in these to make sure that the welcome everybody gets here is a good one day or night. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. You know, if there's one thing that we know about us Detroiters, we always have a lot of opinions about things, and people have opinions about this new sign. So we take it online. It has been going all over the place. People are like, I, I kind of like it, but then people are like, it looks cheap. It, it makes the uh, the golden rings that uh, welcome you into Macomb County look like the Eiffel Tower. Uh, you know, people think a different color would have been better. They think the rendering that was shown earlier, it looks nothing like the rendering, which of course was, I'm sure, AI generated, so you really couldn't see. Now, the interesting part about the picture of the Detroit sign that you might be seeing right now when you are reading articles about it online might have come from one of our producers' phones. Kari Hobbs is one of our producers here on Local 4 Plus, and he's next hey, to me hey. every day for the Daily Plus Live. Hey. So, Kari, you came in this morning, and you're like, the picture I, uh, that I have of the sign, I think, is going viral. What happened? Okay, so uh, yesterday, let's say approximately 3 o'clock, um, my brother, who works in construction, he sent me a picture of the Detroit sign. Yeah. And I told him immediately, like, I'm, I'm stealing this. <laughs> And he, he's so like, I, all right, that's fine. Yeah, like that's that's mine. Uh, and then I took it and put it on Twitter, and I just put, there you have it. I just wanted people to be able to see it. And from that point on, my phone got hot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I, I kept looking, and people apparently hated it. Uh, you know, it's it was like right here I have a, it looks like, a school project seniors did for community service hours. Oh, uh, no, someone no. else said it looked like a uh, refrigerator magnet, so people got a little upset. Now, I think what's so funny about it is so so GMAC Cash actually came out with a song, yes, and we, we'd have to have so many beeps in the song, we could not play it for you <laughs> right now, saying it looks like to the, the Toys R Us letters, but <laughs> they used your picture. Yeah, so uh, the the picture went viral so quickly and then G Matt Cash is able to make songs very quickly, so he he took that and the AI picture, put them together, and made it the cover for a song. No way! All right, show us a picture one last time. So because, uh, that's uh, that's Kari's picture coming through. That. There you go. So if you see the white van and if you see the the black truck, you know yeah. that came from. That's Kari. the one. That's the one. That's right there. <laughs> just just a little something fun to talk about as uh, everyone's uh, weighing in. You know what? I think like all things too. We'll get used to it.
People didn't like the Eiffel Tower first. Season, Absolutely. Right? Right. Exactly. And they're going to light it up on Thursday, Rod said. That'll be a good one.